protests in central Baghdad turn into celebration as demonstrators came one step closer to achieving their goal of a government overhaul. On Friday, Iraq's Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi announced that he was stepping down amid unrest that is nearing its second month. The resignation of Abel Abdul Mahdi is the start of the reform and our revolution will continue until we achieve all our demands. All must go. The entire government should leave because they are responsible for the bloodshed. The resignation came after Iraq's top Shia cleric, Grand Ayatollah Ali al-Sistani, showed a lack of faith in the government. In a sermon delivered by his spokesperson, he urged the country's parliaments to pull their support of the embattled prime minister. The parliament from which this current government is drawn, is asked to reconsider its choice in this regard, an act according to Iraq's interest to prevent the country from slipping into violence, chaos and destruction. Iraq has been gripped by deadly protests since October. Many of those taking part believe that the Shia-dominated political class are pawns of neighboring Iran. Iranian consulates have been targeted numerous times by protesters. Wednesday's torching of the consulate in Najaf prompted a violent crackdown by security forces that killed dozens of people nationwide. So far, over 400 protesters have been killed during the demonstrations. Parliament is convening an emergency meeting on Sunday to discuss the crisis. Prime Minister Mahdi hasn't yet announced when he will officially resign. Next,